Hey, Rocky Mountain Sunscreen team, I wanted to congratulate you on your Amazon's Choice Badge for Sunscreens by Rocky Mountain Sunscreen. I know how competitive the category can be, so to see that is really a job well done. Now, my job is to look for potential opportunities with sellers who prioritize on Amazon. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you a large module which you have you're not utilizing on this listing, takes a valuable real estate, in addition to a few other things I noticed. My name is Sean, and I'm an account manager with with my Amazon guys. So listen, I'm gonna pack this full of valuable information. It's designed to grow sales. I'll get to the module in just a second, but the first thing I wanna talk about are your keywords. Now we utilize this tool to look at your sponsored and organic keywords, and I'm noticing that they're really low. So you're not advertising and only 505 organic keywords. So this really surprised me, especially this time of year, right? Um, so, scroll and by the way we recommend a one to two ratio here so for every one sponsored you have two organic but let's look and see how you're performing i like that you're on sunscreen but you're definitely deep within the search results uh, <clears throat> scrolling down here reef safe sunscreen that's good your rank though if you notice your rank hold on oh <laughs> no all of your, except for the last one, all of your organic keywords in the top 50, if you're showing up, some, some of these you're not even indexing for. So there's a ton of uh, missed opportunity here. But if you are showing up, you're in the triple digits in terms of the search results. So that means that you're pages, pages, pages deep. So let's put this into context a little bit. Look at this, Reef Safe Sunscreen. You're organically ranked 289. And there are 34 and a half thousand people looking for reef safe sunscreen on Amazon US this month alone. So of course you're gonna have all the sponsored ads that show up before you. And then the 288 other organic ads that show up before you for the words reef safe sunscreen. So let's see how much revenue has been generated. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sellers have earned over five and a half million dollars in the past 30 days by these three words. And with your organic rank of 289, you've got to ask yourself, is that good enough for you to get your fair share of this revenue? The answer should hands down be no, especially when some of these sellers are getting close to a million of these dollars. So I would absolutely, sorry about that, I would absolutely update your keywords. Now, let's talk about competition. I took these words from your title, Reef Friendly Sunscreen SPF 50, and found this listing here. I'm sure you've seen it. It is a direct competitor, but I'm not doing any product comparisons. What I want to show you is their advertising plan. Look at this. They've got over 11,000 organic keywords. They do advertise as well. They've got 3,200 sponsor keywords. And because of their advertising plan, they have sold over 36 thousand units in the past 30 days and you're under 200 so i would definitely make some updates to your keywords now let's talk about organics here at my amazon guy we break up seo into three phases and in phase three we look at those keywords where you're ranked in spots 20 through 50 and right now you've got 24 of them and because of that you're really not benefiting from that organic traffic so our focus would be to lift you up in the ranks so that instead of being in spot 46 or 45 or 41 we'd have you in the top 10, right? And so just imagine the traffic, plus we wanna grow your organics too as well. So growing them, improving them, that's just gonna help you drive more sales. And listen, one last thing on the words, it's the words that get your listing above everybody else's in the search results. And then it's the look, the appearance, and your product that creates conversion. So let's go through your listing real quick. I'm going through your images. Okay, this is good. However, um, I'm in Florida and I absolutely use Reef Safe Sunscreen. And I know that you've got some water in Rocky Mountain or kind of a beachy between two different um, brands that you have. I went to your website and saw that you've got two different. I, I'm just curious why you don't have you know, beachy scenes with this, especially when it's reef safe. So reef friendly, I would definitely have an ocean or some kind of um, image there because you want to have a connection uh, with your demographic. So if your demographic is um, at the beach or on the ocean or on the water, I would definitely include them in your lifestyle images and video too as well. You need video. 
this is good, but it doesn't make me think of sunscreen. This makes me think of skiing down the slopes. So I get why you do it, right? It completely makes sense. You need it there as well. Um, but I think you're missing kind of an audience with not um, having the beachy demographic in there too. So your title looks looks good. Um, you need to be, oh, wow, 215 characters. It looks great. Um, and then coming down now, here's where you can make improvements. Each bullet needs to have 250 characters and you need to make sure that you're using those frequently used words here. Now, let me show you that module. If you do anything today, log into Seller Central and right above product description right here. So you'll see a brand story. That's where you can put the Rocky Mountain sunscreen logo. Talk about how you got your start, why you do what you do, what makes you so unique and special. You can even include a hyperlink to your brand store, but it fills up this entire screen. Let me just show you a great example of it real quick. This is for a company called Age of Sage. You see that? Um, so it fills it up and they've got page two of it with a link and you can click on these. So um, <clears throat> It's an excellent way to brand yourself, especially since you've got all these competitive uh, ads right above yours. And then scrolling down, oh, I like that product grid, although I would put your product grid down here at the bottom and give people a chance to review. These are the kind of images I was talking about, by the way. Um, but give people a chance to learn more about your product. Um, I would move the product grid down to the bottom of this. <clears throat> So, um, and then also you need 500 to 1,000 words of crawlable text um, in your alt uh, text, or excuse me, in your uh, content down here in the A plus content. And then you're not using your alt text properly. So if I'm going to look for a product like this, I am not typing in USA packaged. I mean, maybe, but very rare. This is really great. I would just make sure that, oh, all of your alt text, I would update for sure, for sure. You're missing out. You're not utilizing it properly. So listen, here at my Amazon guy, we are a 300 person full service Amazon agency. We manage over 250 brands, giving our clients peace of mind, knowing Amazon is handled so they can focus on their business. I'd love an opportunity though to chat with you. So go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call, snag yourself a free consultation. And once you do that, I'll email out the competitive analysis. But thanks so much for watching. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.